Unit Fifteen: A Return to Whaling in Japan, April twenty-eighth. In twenty nineteen, Japan withdrew from the International Whaling Commission (IWC), a body dedicated to whale conservation and whaling management. Up to that point, Japan had skirted the rules on hunting whales by having Japanese ships in the Arctic kill whales for scientific research. Once the carcasses reached Japan, they underwent processing for sale as food. However, Japan has resumed commercial whaling within its territorial waters. The country joins Iceland and Norway in defying IWC bans, even though the Japanese market for whale meat has been in decline since 1962. But the economic reality of whaling in Japan is far from the most important factor in the nation's decision. For older Japanese people, whale meat has the flavor of national pride. And the scent of nostalgia. After World War II, American-occupied Japan turned to larger-scale whaling to feed its population. Whale meat fueled the country's energetic recovery and helped it become the technological and economic powerhouse it is today. But today, demand for whale meat is lower than at any other time. Public policymakers and educated observers. Think that the commercial whaling industry in Japan will not survive this downturn. Environmental activists are glad, since whales provide many benefits to ocean ecosystems. Their waste acts as fertilizer and food for many plants and creatures that actively reduce carbon in the environment. This helps combat global warming. Furthermore, when whales die a natural death and fall to the ocean floor. Their bodies re-enter the food chain and help keep the oceans in balance. Activists hope the decrease in demand for whale meat and the growing public concern about environmental issues among Japanese citizens will be the final nail in the whaling industry's coffin. <laughs>